Hey everyone, this is Evelyn Natopoulos and Paul Mikowski from Polyswarm. We're here from our Tokyo office, our Asian headquarters, to walk you through the Nectar token purchase process. All right, so we find ourselves here on our homepage, which I'm sure you've seen many times. We're gonna jump right in. So just click here on the register for token sale button right in the middle of the page. And this is gonna jump you to the sign in page. So if you don't already have an account, this is where you're gonna create one. I'm gonna sign in with email, but if you wanna use your Google account, feel free to sign in with Google. So, typing in my email address here. And I've already created a password, so I'm just gonna jump right on ahead. All right, so at this point, if you haven't already created an account, an account you're going to be jumped to a page that asks you to go to your inbox and verify your email address we're just going to skip over that part right now here we are for the terms of service i've already read through them but you should probably do so and so you know exactly what you're getting yourself into <laughs> all right so i've read the terms and i'm also not, not a robot, robot. Right? definitely not a robot wow you didn't even have to answer a captcha it knows it me. just knew right away that it you just knows a robot. me all right so i'm going to pop in my name my details here. So it's uh, it's important that you fill out all of these fields. I mean, this helps us uh, make sure that you know we're not selling to bad guys or bad girls. Um, so fill it all out. You know, it, it'll help us help you uh, get going on Polyswarm buying nectar. Um, so yeah, so we're just filling this out right now. We don't actually live in Australia. Uh, like like Evelyn said, we're actually in Japan right now. Um, but uh, yeah, so this, this first this first demo, we're going to step through the MetaMask demo. So we already have the MetaMask extension installed uh, in our browser. We're using Chrome right now. We have the Chrome MetaMask extension installed. MetaMask also supports uh, Firefox, uh, Brave, Opera. and um, But yeah, we're, we're going to use Chrome right now. So in order to get our Ethereum address out of MetaMask, we're going to click on the MetaMask uh, logo up there. Uh, let's reject that. At, we'll actually go back to that it's from a previous demo. So let's uh, copy the address to the clipboard. Yeah. Cool. Pop that in there. And, and hit save. Definitely want those email updates because I do want to be in touch. So I'm not going to unclick that button and <laughs> save it. Okay. So if you have successfully gone through this process and we've checked out all the information that you included, then up here in your profile, it's going to say verified. If it doesn't say verified, then come down here to the chat button, talk to us, and we're gonna help you get through that process. All right, so back to this. Paul. Sure, so uh, the very first thing, <laughs> cool, you're gonna purchase Nectar. Uh, we're happy to have you on board, um, but there's a few things you need to know. Um, first and foremost, do not send any ETH to our token purchase contract um, from an exchange address. Uh, you're, you'd risk losing all of your ETH and there's nothing we can do about it and that would not be fun for anyone. So so this is a legit address, so I'm going to click this box here. This is an address uh, for a wallet that we created for this demo purpose in MetaMask. And MetaMask is a compatible wallet. Uh, in fact, at the bottom of this page, if you scroll down a little bit, we have some instructions for MetaMask and my Ether wallet. And we're going to just run through those instructions right now. Uh, so let's go back up. Um, so we checked that box. We we're not going to send from a, an exchange address. Let's get our authorization. And what this does is this generates a bunch of different values that you would have to put into your wallet in order to purchase Nectar. Uh, so let's scroll down a little bit here. Um, right below uh, the token contract address, um, when the sale actually goes live, and uh, in, let's see, T minus two days, four hours, um, when that actually goes live and you're using MetaMask and the MetaMask extension is installed in Chrome, you'll actually have just a convenient purchase button down here. Uh, right now, because the sale isn't live, we don't have that button. Um, so uh, there, this is this is basically it for MetaMask. Um, Easy as that. Yep, one done. Uh, so uh, let's let's move on to my Ether wallet. Yeah. So we already have that page open. Um, when you're in my Ether wallet, you can use this to create a new wallet if you don't have one already. But we already do have one. We have the MetaMask one that we've just demonstrated. And now we're going to show you a different wallet, which is a little bit more secure. And as a cybersecurity company, we do recommend using a hardware wallet. So we're going to use a Trezor. Looks like that. 
So come up to send Ether and tokens here in this corner. We're gonna so, cl click on Trezor. Right, so my, my Ether wallet is, uh, I'm sure everyone's, most people are familiar with this at this point, but it's it's just a web interface to connect to a, a lot of different wallets. And uh, like Evelyn said, you know, we're security people, so we're gonna use a, we're gonna use a Trezor for this. Uh, so we, we click the uh, Trezor box. Uh, we're gonna connect, uh, click uh, connect to Trezor now. Yep. It's gonna pop up. Okay, we're gonna export our public keys. Click on export. And nothing's in any of these addresses because we just reset the Trezor for this purpose. So let's just select the first one, click unlock your wallet. Okay, cool. Okay. So uh, toward the top right there, there's our public address. You might wanna verify that when you're doing this. Um, but in the to address field, uh, okay. we're gonna go back to the site yep. and we make this real simple. There's just copy and paste. Click copy. Come back over and just paste it in. Put in the amount. Yeah, what? make sure you don't exceed the amount that you put on um, the tokensale.polyswarm.io page. So we had a thousand over here, we're gonna pop a thousand in over there and then copy your gas limit right here into this field. All right, and then there's another step that we're gonna encourage you to, to do because without it, your transaction's not going to run through. <laughs> yeah. So click on it's advanced. More of a, yeah, more of an encouragement. Like, definitely do this. Otherwise, <laughs> you won't lose anything, but you won't get any nectar. So. Sure. so it's a necessary piece here. Come back to data and just pop in this transaction data piece here. Really long piece. Just hit copy, control V in there, and generate a transaction. Cool. So because we're using a Trezor, this is going to pop up uh, the... Um, uh, on the Trezor, it's going to say, hey, do you actually want to send uh, ETH to this address? And make sure that it's there, our token sale address that we've published on tokensale.polyswarm.io. That's actually the only place that we're going to publish our token sale contract address. So if you see it anywhere else, it's a scam. Yep, not uh, on Telegram, nowhere else, only on the website. Right, so, and if you do, please let us know on Telegram, etc. We We try to make sure people are aware of scams and try to take them down when we can. But uh, so I verified that this is our token sale contract address. So I'm going to click uh, confirm on the Trezor. Uh, and then it also asks you about sending a bunch of transaction data. I'm going to confirm that as well. And uh, do you really want to send 1,000 ETH to this address? Wow, Evelyn, here's a high roller. Listen, uh, I really believe in the Polysform project. <laughs> it's yeah. a winner. Yeah, I definitely want to send 1,000 ETH. Um, too bad I don't have it. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so that I, I clicked OK on the Trezor, and then we're going to go down to send transaction here. There you go. So notice how that just automatically updated on the screen once it was completed. And I'm going to hit send transaction. And we are really sure. And there we go. Unfortunately, there's insufficient funds. That's what's being scrolled across the bottom of the screen here. But, you know, as we said, these are just um, test wallets that we're using for the demonstration. So normally it should come up on the bottom saying transaction completed. So that's it. That's uh, it's as simple as that. Um, so we're we're recommending either you use MetaMask or you use uh, My Ether Wallet. Ideally, again, we're information security people. But even if you're not a security person, you know, keep your keep your crypto safe. Uh, use a hardware wallet. We recommend Trezors. Uh, ledgers will work as well. Uh, definitely don't just copy and paste around a private key. That's yeah. not fun. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, that never ends well for anyone, but uh, yeah, that's it. Great. If you have any questions, uh, join our Telegram. The link to the Telegram is uh, on our main site. Um, We're here to help you. Also, you know, before doing that, it's also a good idea to come down here to our instructions, MetaMask instructions, and my Ether Wallet instructions. So there might be some more information there that we didn't cover in this video. So have a read through, then reach out to us in Telegram. We're here to help. Thanks for joining us on this journey.